So in problem one, what you did was you looked at a specific set of inputs and you evaluated the log function, log of x, at each one of those inputs. If you look here in the table, you can see the results. Here's your input column, same as from problem one, and here's your output column. The values are here in case you need to check your values from problem one. Now what you really didn't know at this point, because you're just learning about logarithms, is that what you were really doing was taking what's called the common logarithm of each of those values. And a common logarithm has what is called a base of 10. In a logarithmic function or logarithmic equation, the base is very important. We need to know what this number is. We were not given a base in the table in problem one. That is because base 10 is a common base, and so we call it a common logarithm. And our calculator knows that log is the same thing as base 10. So what I've done here in this example is to take the information from the original table in problem one and to rewrite each of the pieces in a log equation form. So when the input is 1, log 1 is 0. Let's rewrite all that information together so that the information is in one place. So that becomes log base 10 of 1 equals 0. I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining pieces of information. So log base 10 of 10 equals 1. So my input was 10. That's what goes into the parentheses. My output was 1. That's what goes on the other side of the equation. So I'm just putting all the information from each row into a more formal statement of logarithmic uh, equation. When input is 100, output is 2 in the log function. That's log base 10 of 100 equals 2. Log base 10 of 1,000 equals 3. Log base 10 of 10,000 equals 4. And log base 10 of 100,000 equals 5. So those are all the pieces of information from the table. Now, we need to understand the original statement that logarithms really are exponents. And let's see how that's going to work. So if you look at the right side now, the last part of the table, what I've done is I've rewritten the information that was in the log part of the table in yet another form. This is exponential form. We're going to learn this in a little bit later on in the lesson. We're going to see this a little bit more. But I want you to understand where the exponent thing comes from. So log base 10 of 1 equals 0 is the same thing as saying 10 to the 0 equals 1. Log base 10 of 10 equals 1 is the same thing as saying 10 to the 1 equals 10. And the exponents I'm referring to, if you'll notice, the outputs that are here, so these are my outputs, all of my exponents, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are the powers of 10 that give me my original input. So the logarithm part, that's the output, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is the exponent on the base, the base was 10, that gives me the original input value. So there's a lot, lot more going on with these problems. But basically what you're looking for when you're given a logarithmic equation of the form log base b of x equals y, you are looking for the output, and the output is the exponent that makes the base equal the input.